Money Talks podcast with Michael Campbell. Getting lots of questions regarding the measures the government's put in place in an effort to stop the spread of COVID-19. Problem is, I don't have an answer because the government has given us insufficient information and data to evaluate the response, including not a word about any cost-benefit analysis of measures taken to stop the spread of the virus that are decimating Canada's economy. Yes, we are inundated with an unprecedented blow-by-blow on every confirmed case in the country, but with very little context. I mean, there's a significant difference between someone passing away who's 80 years old and already suffering from a respiratory problem and a teenager who is otherwise healthy. I mean, we have 800 cases or so and 10 deaths, but we have no idea how that matches with health professionals' projections. We know they're very concerned about exponential growth, but that's about it. Just spouting statistics without context is unhelpful unless the goal is to panic the population, and I doubt that. Statistical comparisons with other jurisdictions are also out of whack unless we are accounting for age, health history, the reach and quality of the health care system, because otherwise it gets very misleading. While our understanding is growing, our knowledge still is far from comprehensive. I mean, one of the things is we still don't know the seasonality of the virus, and that could play a huge part in arresting its spread. Now, I'd be especially interested in knowing the various scenarios mapped by government and wonder if the current health-related statistics justify operating as if the worst-case scenario is the most probable, given the massive economic costs that are getting incurred. I mean, a quick example, OpenTable.com reports a shocking 97% drop in restaurant reservations on Wednesday compared to a year earlier. I mean, it would be helpful to know if the data merits such an extreme cost. I mean, heck, I'd like to know if the economic and financial cost to individuals and businesses is even being taken into account when deciding on specific measures. As I said, I don't know, because they haven't released the necessary information to make an informed decision. But I am prepared to make a bet. Call it a shot in the dark, given the dearth of context for the information we get. My bet is that we're going to recover from the health impact of COVID-19 far sooner than the financial and economic impact. My name is Mike Campbell. Join me Saturday for Money Talks. 